In this week's medical moment, we continue our look at epilepsy and its treatment. We have covered brain mapping and surgical options right. before, but this one, well, I think we have saved the best for last this time. It's surgery with an awake patient. To the uninitiated, brain surgery is scary, and rightly so. But brain surgery while the patient is awake, that's flat out mind blowing. There's a lot entailed in the initial meeting and uh, spending the appropriate uh, amount of time uh, with patients. Uh, they need to know the process intimately, uh, as I know it. Uh, they need to understand uh, who I am and why we would do such a thing. If you're wondering, no, the person being operated on isn't awake for everything. Uh, they are not kept awake during the opening and the closing uh, because, frankly, we don't need them for that. Uh, so they're essentially sedated, but not sedated to the point of uh, uh, having to have a tube placed in their throat and placed on a mechanical ventilator. They're sedated to the point where they're in, in effect uh, sleeping. For the surgeon, in some instances, an awake patient is a no-brainer. Uh, and that occurs uh, when, for instance, we're operating on a tumor that happens to be in the motor area uh, or in the language area specifically. There are other sites that we're uh, leery about uh, to approach uh, under general anesthesia because we don't have immediate feedback as to how that patient is doing. Did that make your face twitch? Uh, yeah. The more feedback the doctors get from the patient, the more of the tumor they can take out, and the more bad stuff that goes, the more good that comes from it. We use the awake state uh, to optimize uh, the removal, to remove as much of that uh, tumor as possible. Uh, we've known over the past uh, almost two decades uh, that uh, when we maximize tumor removal in that fashion, um, we can extend the patient's uh, survival. In the case of Kim, who you see here, her tumor was located in a tough spot and doctors used her responses to know whether to keep going or possibly pull back. It essentially lodged itself mostly underneath the motor area but encroached also in the speech area. And so we concentrated uh, on making as minimal an entry as possible and spending most of our time getting around the lesion uh, while monitoring her speech ability as well as her uh, motor capabilities uh, so that uh, we had her wiggling her fingers and, uh, and speaking with us um, uh, throughout the procedure. Wow, that's unbelievable. Scary stuff. Yeah, it really is. But he says there is a reason they do what mm -hmm. they do. And like he said, you're not like, hey, everybody, what's going on up there? You are yes. sedated to the point, but they have to be able to speak with yeah. you. Yeah, amazing. You can check out all of our medical moments at fox17online.com. To find it, just click on the news features tab at the top of the home page. All right, more to come tonight at 5 o'clock. Nearly a month after voluntarily closing their doors because of a food illness outbreak, the owners of Margaret.